With Aussie East Coast property values through the roof, more and more people are looking further afield for investing, but a bunch of them are headed for trouble. Buying a shitty property investment is a major frustration and something that will hold you back for years and probably even decades. That means that it's something that you should look to avoid at all costs. Now, when it comes to buying property, there's a bunch of different ways to be right. You can buy a reno flip, you can buy off the plan, you can do all of these different things or just buy and hold for the long term. The right move for you really depends on you and your preferences because they all come with different sorts of risks. Now, as I see it, one of the least risky ways to purchase property, the one of the most effective and the most consistent is that you buy quality properties that you can hold for the long term and then you do exactly that. I'm talking about premium properties in premium areas where there's strong demand, limited supply, and you know that it's gonna be a good investment next year, in the next decade, and in the decades that come after that. Buying properties like this, you are not gonna get any discounts. You're not gonna get the quick wins of the market where you pick a hot spot and it suddenly takes off but you are gonna make a lot, lot more money over the longer term. Now, this is not advice and you know you should seek that out before you take action, but buying and hold for the long term has three big advantages. Firstly, you minimize your buy and sell costs. Property costs about 5% to purchase, about 3% to sell, and that's a big chunk of change if you're buying and selling properties all of the time, then you got the taxes on top. And that's number two, that you minimize the amount of taxes that you pay because you allow the property to grow. And if you don't sell it, you don't pay capital gains tax, but you can still use the equity to invest even further. And that brings us to the third point that that equity will build over time. The banks are gonna be comfortable to lend against it. And it allows you to accelerate your investing so much faster than you could be with, with, with an average property alone. With an average property, if the growth is flat, you don't get equity growth, therefore you can't borrow more, meaning that you're investing at a much, much slower pace. When you're buying property, avoiding the hype, avoiding the spin, and trying to silence that inner investor that's looking for a quick return can be seriously valuable over time.